Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope we are well. I wasn't gonna film this video, but quite a lot of people asked me to, so I was like, why not? Trying to grab my escaping sausage. Sugar's keeping. Diane. I went to Chicago recently. I went I was invited kindly by Disney to go to Chicago to <laughs> I was invited by Disney to Chicago to go to Star Wars Celebration, which is a huge Star Wars convention in Chicago and I was I was invited to go to basically enjoy it cover it talk about it and um, also see some of the exciting new launches trailers etc park openings that's gonna be happening that is Star Wars related you know I mean I was I was to be fair I was at the convention center slash hotel because it was all under one roof um, for the majority of the time I was there so I didn't really get to see too much of Chicago, which was a shame. So I definitely need to go back and visit again. However, I did manage to pop out here or there. And when I did pop out here or there, I did pick up some things. I also picked up some things at the convention center itself. Because obviously like most conventions, you have like panel rooms and things that go on. And then there's like the expo, which is the big bit in the middle, which is predominantly shops and stalls and interactive things that you can kind of do so you know it was a massive nerd fest it was brilliant i'm gonna be honest most of the things that i've bought are food related it's all i, it's all I ever want in life is food so i'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you some of the shit that i've bought from chicago first of all i was told to visit garrett's popcorn which is a Chicago tradition since 1949. And it's a really cute shop in Chicago. I did see a stall at the airport as well on the way back and I probably should have bought it from there to, for the freshness. Um, and I bought a couple of flavors. Now, I was a bit annoyed because I bought this with the intention of bringing it back. And as I was paying, I said, how long does it stay fresh for? And she said, 24 hours. I was like, fuck, no. I go home in three days. But to be honest, I think it's still all right, this popcorn. Now, bear with me. Listen, hear me out, okay? The the tr the tradition, the delicacy popcorn from Garrett's is cheese and caramel flavour. Now, I had a few people DM me saying I need to try cheese and caramel flavour popcorn. And I was like, oh, that sounds fucking gross. And then when I got there... I was in there and it's like called the Garrett Mix and it is, it's their signature popcorn. And I thought, well, you know, if it's if it's their signature dish or popcorn flavor, it must be good because it's popular. So I bought it and I'm gonna insert my first impression of the popcorn right now. What's it like? Works. I don't nice. hate that. That is nice. It might be over a week since I bought it, but it's still alright. Mark even likes it as well. So using SMR chewing. Sorry if you don't like chewing. I watch dog ASMR when they're eating things. I wonder if this is the same, right? Yeah, that's too, that's too sloppy. Ready? And the other flavour that I got, which I feel should still be okay, because the caramel one is pecan. I got the pecan one to take home. I'm really sorry about the lighting today. It's the sun's going in and out, in and out, and it just keeps going a bit mental. So we just put it over there, over there. So this is the pecan one. And I thought, because it's encased in sugar, like a lot of sugar, it should preserve itself. Should I try one? Yeah, that's fine. Mmm, a bit of pecan. Oh my God. That's so nice. So I got that from Garrett's, which is a popcorn place. Then I walked down the street and I ended up, bloody called it, Sephora! I mean, I have to I have to visit a Sephora if I'm in America because I'm a basic bitch. I just got a bit excited. Me and Elle went in there. So I picked up Olaplex number six, which is a bond smoother. It's a leave-in reparative styling cream. Eliminates frizz, hydrates and protects. Well, actually, my hair could always do with a little bit of hydration, a little protection, a little bit of anti-frizz. It's very coarse, it's very dry at times. 
because of blonde. And my hair is naturally very, very coarse. Even when it's not blonde, when it's natural, it's very coarse. It dries out very quickly between washes. So stuff like this is super helpful. So I have Olaplex one and two, which are technically the salon ones, uh, but I know someone. Uh, Olaplex three, which you can buy over the counter, which is the same size as this. Olaplex four and five of the shampoo and the conditioners. And this is the newest edition, which is Olaplex six. So there's the laddie. Olaplex number six. The next thing I bought, which was a complete impulse. I see people use these. I got a jade roller, because I heard that this was supposed to be good for your face. It's like a little massage thing made of jade with a big end and a little end. And I see people using these. It's from a brand called Herbivore. And I don't really want to use it. Oh, it's very posh. <gasps> I'm gonna, oh yeah, I do. Oh my goodness, it's so cold. <gasps> Oh, I know I've got to push harder than that, but oh. All right, see you later, everyone. I'm just gonna sit here for the rest of the day. The Jade Facial Roller is an incredible tool for inner and outer beauty. Uh, facial rolling is relaxing and de-stressing. It's been a beauty ritual since ancient times in China, dating all the way back to the seventh century. Physically, it helps to firm the skin through gentle massage. It also aids in detoxing through lymphatic system the body's main major detoxification system. Metaphysically, jade brings peace and is known to promote harmony and reduce stress. Yeah, I'm just de-stressing right now. I bought it because, you know, I'd send people, I'd, 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 I'd send people using them and I wanted one for myself because I want to de-stress, I want to have a nice cold rock on my face. Or whatever it is, is it a rock? I don't know, that's a question for Mark. Mark, I have a question for you. Is jade a rock? No. What is it? A mineral. Oh. Feels well nice, doesn't it? That is actually quite nice. Yeah. So yeah, I got this and I'm, I'm really happy about it. All right, next from Sephora. I bought some eyelashes. I must have been very spare at the moment. These are from Sephora. They're just these, I, I, I prefer my lashes to be bigger on the outside and really small on the inside, that kind of like doe eye look. So they look pretty good. And they're like a, they are a faux, faux leather. I also bought Crush on Blush, which is a blush duo from Kat Von D. It is a highlight, whoa, and a little blush there. Just thought it was a really nice little duo. And then because um I had, I signed up for a Sephora card, I don't know why. I don't live in America, so I can't go that regularly. But anyway, I suppose it's come in handy when I do go. Because um, it was my birthday kind of recently, they gave me a birthday present. And I got this Kat Von D Beauty Insider mini kit. So I have a tattoo liner, a powder, and some lipstick. Pretty cool, isn't it? That's well good. So that's the Sephora shit. We went to a place called Navy Pier. They had like little shops in there. And I spotted these socks and I bought them because this is probably the most accurate representation of myself ever. Body by tacos. I mean, it's not really a lie. I love tacos, especially Baja fish tacos. <laughs> my favorite food after chicken Kiev's. I like the colors of them as well. They're proper like retro looking. So I had to get these socks because it's, it, they speak truth. I also got Mark some socks. I got him these, which are the Chicago Blackhawks. Blackhawks? They're a sports team, NHL. You know, he said he wanted some sports stuff. So like, do you even support them? He was like, well, no, I just think it's cool. Um, in the expo, I um, I bought a couple of t-shirts. Now, they had this, they had this huge, huge t-shirt stand, and there was some like nerdy t-shirts in there which I thought were great. They're like a huge selection of Star Wars ones, but then they had lots of other nerd ones. So I got one of my favorite films, an alien t-shirt. Uh, alien, it's got a really, oh, it's got a lovely lady at the bottom, but she's current, she's being, you know, taken over by a face hugger. It's kind of gross, but that's why I like it. I watched it on the plane home from Chicago. I couldn't sleep. It was a night flight, couldn't sleep. So I watched Alien, and then I watched Aliens 2 the other night. Mark actually put it on, I was like, good choice. Horrible little face hugger and some like lady. I got Mark a t-shirt as well. I haven't actually seen it, but it's The Warriors. I saw it and I, he, he was speaking about it. He talks about it a lot. So um, I was like, oh, Mark likes that film. I'll get him that. That's a pretty good t-shirt. Now I thought I'd save the best till last. <sighs> got some treats, didn't I? Some American treats. 
spotted these, thought these are probably gonna be insane. Rice, crispy treats, snap, crackle, poppers, cookies and cream. Guys, look at that. Like, Rice crispy Squares are bang on, aren't they? Like, if you've got Rice crispy Squares in your pack lunch, you were winning at life. Right, I'm gonna try one, try one on camera. They're really little. Look at them, oh, okay. Mmm, mmm, mm. yeah, they're going back in the bag. Oh, my mouth is drooling. That is so good, wow. And then I got some Tootsie Rolls. Mark's never tried a Tootsie Roll and I feel like he needs to try them. I love a Tootsie Roll, I've always loved a Tootsie Roll. These are the best goddamn Reese's things ever. In the UK, they sell them in little sachets, like little shots. Um, but in America, you can get them in a, a legit big old thing. And they're so good. In these ones, you get Reese's pieces, little pretzel bits, Reese's cups, mini ones, and bits of peanut. This is what's inside them. Aren't they just glorious? And then I got these, because these look different and new. Reese's dark fins. Me time just got better. Size for delight, 100% portable. Cool. And then, these look fucking crazy. Reese's Outrageous. I got two for one for me and one for Margaret. It's just been Easter as well. So these will be going in the treat cupboard. And I will savour them, but look at this. What we have here, I can only describe, is something similar to a star bar. You know, like in the UK we have star bars, they're one of my favourite chocolate bars. It was like chocolate on the outside, peanut butter and caramel on the inside, but it's kind of, it's also encased by Reese's Pieces, like mini ones. Isn't that just out of this fucking world? I would do a try on right now, like a try on. I would do a test for you right now. I think I need to save this for a special occasion. Like, I'm watching a movie, I've just made a massive mug of tea, I'm in my pyjamas, I'm gonna just savour this moment. Yeah. Sorry, I just got carried away there. Okay, so I'm about to, I've got, I'm on, I've got my new PJs, I've got some new PJs on. Got a cup of tea on the go. That's perfect. Perfect temperature. And, oh my God. Could I give this a bloody whiz? Oh my goodness. Here we go. Oh my God, it's quite, it's quite gnarled. It's quite, look at that. Look at the shape of it. Okay. Here we go. We have a caramelly center, and then a mini, mi mini Reese's outer. Ah. It's fucking brilliant. That is it, that is the shit that I bought in Chicago. Nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, thanks for requesting. Thanks for watching. Um, I shall see you soon. Farewell. Bye.